If you've got a smartphone, chances are you've already played one of these. Okay, come on, Grandma. Let's get you back to the old folks' home. No! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Game Loft games. You've got a tough fight ahead of you. Our usual one per franchise rule is in effect, and we're only covering Game Loft games released on the iOS and Android devices. Excellent timing, for I have been attacked and fleeced by a dragon. A what? Number 10, Wild Blood. One does not come here and simply take the Book of Shadows. In Wild Blood, players control Sir Lancelot in this hack and slash adventure where King Arthur has gone mad. Consumed by grief and despair, the king resorted to desperate measures. Nothing that some button mashing can't fix, especially when you've got some enormous axes coated in fire, right? To top it all off, the game offers 4 on 4 online multiplayer, if you finish up the single player campaign and still have a craving for ye old ass kickings. The weapons in this game are so over the top, you'll swear your screen is at risk of cracking. Oh, thank the maker! Number 9, Gangster Vegas. Jason Marloni is the unluckiest fighter to ever enter the ring. He's gonna f kill me! After being told to take a dive by Frank Villiano, who quote, owns this town, unquote. You, down, in the fourth. Jason accidentally wins his match anyway by knocking out his opponent with one hit. He clearly doesn't know his own strength, and now he's got an angry mobster to deal with in a sandbox style game full of dangerous missions and seedy characters. Uh, you're gonna have to work to earn that protection. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, unless you screw over a mafia don. You know what happens? <laughs> Number eight, Despicable Me, Minion Rush. Please listen up, please. <laughs> Thank you. By definition, this game should be terrible, considering it's a movie tie-in game. Tag on the fact that it's yet another endless runner, and you have a recipe for disaster. Hold still, banana brain. But much to our surprise, this game is as fun as it is addictive, and is downright adorable with all those minions scattering about. <laughs> Not to mention, there's also a surprising amount of gameplay variety here. And who wouldn't want that trophy from Minion of the Year on their mantle? <laughs> Number 7. Cars, fast as lightning. Here we go! Sometimes, games aimed at children can be... offensive. Oh boy! And we don't mean offensive as in, this game is rated M for maybe Timmy and Brittany should be sleeping. We mean, why is this game like jingling keys in front of a baby? Thankfully, this game isn't like that. Young fans of the Cars franchise will fall in love with this entertaining mix of a builder and a racer. Fast as Lightning is simple and fun without assuming that it needs to be dumbed down for a younger audience. Boy, I'm pretty good at this racing stuff. Number six, Spider-Man Unlimited. Yes, much like Despicable Me, it's another licensed endless runner. And just like Despicable Me, this game is surprisingly fun. <laughs> the endless runner gameplay never really gets old as we make our way through the city, and the music just feels like Spider-Man. The comic book art style also really makes our spidey senses tingle. Plus, when you add in the fact that you can web-sling through certain points, it's certainly not something to pass off. I should reward myself with a piping hot plate of Aunt May's famous Johnny Cakes. Number five. GT Racing 2, the real car experience. Let's show these guys what you're made of. You have to have some major cojones to announce that your handheld mobile game is the real car experience. However, the marketing team wasn't just talking out of their exhaust pipe. Good work. Now we gotta focus on speed. Let's do this. The graphics are stunning, the cars look like they're fresh off the lot, and each vehicle comes with its own campaign. There's a real desire to master each track as more stars unlock better cars. Sure we're in first. This race isn't over yet. If that isn't enough, you can take your skills online in multiplayer, meaning that this definitely comes as close as you can to the real car experience, without having to buy insurance. Competition? What competition? Number four, Modern Combat 5, Blackout. Solid copy. Strike two out. It's hard for a first-person war shooter to stand out these days. Strike two. Backup is on the way. Hold tight. But the market is a bit less saturated on mobile, allowing for modern combat to easily take its place as the handheld version of a certain franchise we choose not to mention. I think we're in the clear! Oh shit! Hit it! The 
modern combat franchise proves just how sophisticated mobile games have become, especially now with controller attachments for smartphones. With the previous installment, Modern Combat 4, being so well received, this game had a lot to live up to. Thankfully, it delivered, as the focus on short gameplay sessions helps to perfectly straddle the gap between console shooters and handheld portability. Number 3, Nova 3, Near Orbit Vanguard Alliance. The Nova series as a whole was considered the first critically acclaimed first-person shooter on mobile devices, thanks to its compelling story, tight controls, and ever-impressive graphics. It worked. Mazra, I'm through. The third entry in the franchise is no exception, and like its modern shooter counterpart, it comes dangerously close to living room console quality in a super small package. But it wasn't anything I could not handle. Nova 3 is a must-have for fans of sci-fi shooters, or if you just want to show off how fancy the games can look on your brand new smartphone. Stinger, watch the sky! Number 2, Order and Chaos Online. A great MMO is just an app away. This title has become a must-have for fans of the genre. Pick your class, customize your character, and set off into an expansive world of endless adventure. While the graphics, gameplay, and customization are certainly impressive, the best thing about this particular title is the community around it. The game is rich with content, and the number of players continues to increase with it now being free to play. Hey, where do you think they got the inspiration for the art style? Before we get to our number one, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. What is this? A patch of sunshine amidst my beautiful darkness? Number 1, Asphalt 8, Airborne. Lots of big racing franchises are on their 8th entry or higher, despite what their numbered titles will tell you. The sad reality is that the latter titles can start to lose their luster. Or if you're the Asphalt series, your higher numbered entries get the best critical acclaim. We dare to say that Asphalt 8 is among the best arcade racers on the iOS to date. The graphics are stunning, the jumps are crazy, and the racing is super addictive. On top of that, the huge courses offer multiple paths and shortcuts, meaning there's always a better way to win just around the corner. Do you agree with our list? HALT! I mean, stop. I mean, uh... Which Gameloft game is draining your battery as we speak? For more top 10 lists that you can enjoy on your device of choice, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I can handle anything you throw at me. Good to know.